Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're making a video of Rage of the Legends of the 12 new champions that is around and I'm excited to show them to you guys and read their skills off and I'll figure out you know how, how good they are if I should hope for any of them. So yeah, let's go right into it, I suppose. We I took a pic I took images, uh, I took pictures on my phone or photos. Uh, so that will make it a little bit easier for me to remember. So the first one uh, we currently have is um, Trasher, which is an uncommon from the Ogryn tribes. Uh, so let's head over here and an uncommon from Ogryn tribes. I should honestly cut this uh, BRB. Yeah, okay, we're back. Yeah, I just went on to my main account because here it will be easier to, to like look at them because I've got most of the heroes already. <laughs> So yeah, here, yeah, so the new one, you see, it's so much easier. So the, the, the Trasher uh, fr from Ogryn Tribes does attacks one enemy. Attacks one enemy has a chance to play some block buffs, uh, debuff for two turns. That's not too bad, but it's an uncommon hero. I just wanted to show him off. <laughs> uh, the next one is a rare from Banner Lords uh, called Vanguard. Uh, so let's over to Banner Lords. And we'll see here. Okay, so it's a rare. Um, it's, it's it's this one. Vanguard. Yeah, here we go. We have a rare, new rare um, Abyss uh, Void Void Faction hero. Um, and uh, what's, what this hero does is uh, places 30% uh, decreased defense debuff if the target's defense is lower than this champions. Okay, so this is a... Could be a defend, defense based hero. I wonder why they didn't make it such as the damage is based on defense. Because um, that would be way better. Why is the attack not based on the defense? If he, if he does the defense stuff. Okay, anyway. Uh, place as a provoked debuff if the target is under a decreased defense. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, and you can have it at, at a 3 turn cooldown. So you can provoke people kind of easily at some point. But then again, he's just a rare. And here decreases the, the duration of all buffs on the attacker when hit. Okay, that's also pretty good. Like if a, if a hero has like counter attack for one, one more round, he hits them and they lose their counter attack. That isn't too bad. I like that. Um, the next hero is in Dark Elves. Um, it is called Harvester and it's a Void Champion. A rare hero. So let's head over to the Dark Elves. And we'll, we'll look at them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's obviously... I've, I've unlocked a lot of heroes. Okay! This is like... She reminds me of Spirit Host. She reminds me... Well, the look, the design reminds me of, of Spirit Host. No, is it the... You know the one giving 10% uh, speed aura? Uh, isn't that Spirit Host or whatever? Anyway, attacks one enemy two times as a chance of placing weaken. Uh, okay, not too bad, and that's against one enemy two times actually, uh, for two turns. I wonder if the if the weaken chance is per hit or how that works. Okay, um, then we have the secondary attack attacks. Uh, well, this is a three turn cooldown. Okay, so you can essentially have a hundred percent chance of placing a block buff stay buff for two for two turns against one enemy. Um, and here we, let's say we have a 100% chance, uh, I'm just reading with maxed skills. Anna at a 4 turn cooldown has a 100% chance of increasing the cooldown of one of the target skills by 2 turns at random. Okay, attacks one enemy though. If this was against all the enemies, but then she wouldn't be a rare, then she would be like an epic. No, I don't think a legendary, but at least, at least an epic. Maybe a legendary, a weak legendary. Okay, the next one on our list... Okay, let's see here. The next one on, on our list is Crimson Slayer, which is in High Elves. Let's see here. Here we have High Elves. Uh, it's a rare hero. And it's here. No, not Adjudicator. I'm in High Elves right now. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, it's Crimson Slayer. I'm, I'm, I'm going ahead of myself. It's uh, it's under Knight Revenant. Okay, never mind. Um, um okay. So this is uh, no, not cr Knight's Revenant, Faction Knight's Revenant, Crimson Slayer. Have okay here. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Anyway, this looks again like just a reskin of of uh, actor Deathless, or you know, why why are the developers so lazy with the with making new characters? Like they're just reskinning. 
uh, old ones. Anyway, we'll, maybe the skills will be cool. Attacks three times at random, each hit has a 30% chance of placing a sleep debuff. Okay, so you can have up to 50% um, chance of placing a sleep debuff. Uh, and you, you basically sleep them, uh, I think. You basically sleep the enemy with this skill. Uh, that's essentially a guaranteed sleep, unless you're super unlucky. <laughs> Here we have a 25, a 30, here we have essentially a 100% chance of decreasing the target storm meter by 50%. Fills this champion storm meter equal to the, uh, to the amount the target loses. That's not too bad. It's on a first turn cooldown and it's just against one enemy. <laughs> Attacks all enemies has an 80% chance of placing 50% heal reduction debuff for one, for one turn. Uh, that's not bad actually. That's a 100% chance with a 5 turn cooldown. Yeah, that's not bad. It's yeah, it's it's a good skill. Uh, it's a good skill. It really is. Okay, next hero. Now we can do go to adjudicator, uh, which was in high elves, I believe. Yeah, here adjudicator. Yeah, I found her. I found him. You know. Uh, let's see here. Okay, has a twenty percent chance of placing a fifty percent hit reduction. Okay, so let's say a seventy five percent chance. Also, it's against one enemy. Okay, so she that's her normal skill. Though, no cooldown. And then we have this at a, essentially a 3 turn cooldown, uh, essentially 20, 75%, so it's a 75% of decreasing the turn meter by 20, that's so bad. Um, and this is at a uh, 75% chance with 4 turn cooldown, attacks 2 times at random as a 50% chance of increasing the cooldown of the target skills by 1 turn, okay, I don't, she's, she's, she's bad, adjudicate your, I'm sorry, you're bad. <laughs> okay, let's head over to the epics. Um, Sikara, she's an epic barbarian, uh, which is here, um, is this Sikara? No, that's Shada. Let's see here. Sikara, okay, so this is a new hero? Question mark? Uh, I feel like I've seen Sikara. Actually, no, I don't recognize her. She, she looked similar. That's the game, please. Attacks one enemy, fills the champion storm meter if the target is critical. Attacks all enemies three times, that's important. Each hit has a 40% chance of removing one random buff from the target. And you essentially have 60% chance at a four turn cooldown. Uh, that isn't bad actually, attacks all enemies three... She can really be good, you know, removing all of the enemy buffs like that. Having a 60% chance of doing that. That isn't bad. That's a, that's a, that, that's a, the second attack there is a good skill. Here we have essentially a 4 turn cooldown, 85% uh, chance of placing a 25% weakened debuff, um, uh, weaken debuff to the enemies, which is, which is cool, they will take more damage. Her passive is revives this champion with 75% HP with, when killed, when Alika's in the same team. It's kind of whatever, you know, a 7, to, seven turn cooldown, which you can't, you can't do anything about it. Okay, well let's look here, um, the next hero in our list is the Pitless one, which is an epic hero, which is in the Knight Revenants. Uh, Knight uh, Revenant, Knight Revenants. Um, and it's called a Pitiless one, which has to be this one, yeah. And it's a, it's a blue boy, like it's a, it's a magic hero. Attacks one enemy two times, <laughs> no debuffs, okay. Attacks all enemies, each critical hits boosts the champion by 15%. Essentially a 75%. Okay, so if this guy has a lot of crit, it could be useful. Each critical hit heals this champion by 50% of the damage inflicted. I'd, I'd be interested in seeing, because if you have 100% crit chance, you have, let's say, 200% crit damage, you say have 5,000 attack, you say have you, you have, uh, I don't know, 30,000 health or something, and he does crit all the time. If this was an avoid hero, it would be so good. But it's not a void, so it you have a ch you have a chance chance to do weak hits. Uh, I don't. It's fine. It's okay. He, he could be useful. He could. He's. I like that. That was an interesting one. Then we have a, a new hero called Occult Brawler, which is in the Ogren tribes. So let's start over here, and it's an epic hero. So it would have to be here. A towering Titan, um, Ma Man Eater is supposed to be good. Cage Breaker, no. Is it there? Grimskin, no. Shatterbones. What's uh, Ogren Tribes Occult Brawler? It's a spirit. Oh, it's this one. I'm I'm stupid as hell. Okay, 
Anyway, has a 50%, okay, so let's say, has a 60% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff on the enemies. I think you have a 2.5 and 5% poison uh, when it comes to skills, so it's not too bad. Uh, but it just attacks one enemy, so it is really bad. <laughs> attacks one enemy if this champion is under one or more debuffs. This attack ignores 30% of the enemy defense. This reminds me of Leech of Angels skills. If this champion is under two or more debuffs, enemies killed by this skill cannot be revived. If this champion is under 3 or more debuffs, this attack always crit is critical. If this champion is under 4 or more debuffs, this champion heals by 30% of the damage inflicted. If this champion is under 5 or more debuffs, grants an extra turn, removes all debuffs uh, from this champion after the at attack. And it's on a 3 turn cooldown. Oh god, what a skill. And then his passive is, um, places a 2.5% uh, poison debuff uh, on this champion for 4 turns, at the start of each turn. Uh, what? Places a 2.5% poison debuff on this champion for 4 turns at the start of each turn. Has a 75% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff on a random enemy for 4 turns at the start of each turn. Places a poison debuff on this champion? Why would he poison himself? <laughs> if poison healed him, but... Okay, he seems average, to be honest. He doesn't seem like an epic quality to me. Um, anyway, let's see here. Golden Reaper, which is a Knight Revenant. Uh, so that's it over here. A uh, right, Knight Revenant. Not Revenant. Uh, Knight, yeah, they're, they're having Knight's Revenant. They're mispronouncing it in the, my, in the notification, in like the announcement in game. Okay. Golden Reaper is a Void. Which means it's probably this one, yeah. Again, they're just using reskins of old heroes. Anyway, let's see the skills. Attacks one enemy has a 30% chance. Okay, let's uh, bump that up to a 50% chance with the skills being leveled up. Has a 50% chance of de decreasing the cooldown of one random ally's skills by one turn. That's not good. If it was completely, then it's different. Um, okay, attacks all enemies has a 75% chance. I'm just adding like the level skills. Has a 75% chance of placing a dec decreased attack debuff for two turns. Decreases the turn meter of each target by 20% if, if they're if they are not under a decreased attack debuff. This isn't bad. It's not bad. The, the, the turn meter decrease is great. Not bad. Not bad. Um, and increases, places a increased speed buff and boosts their turn meter uh, at a three turn cooldown. Alacrity. Alacrity. That isn't bad actually. Decreasing their attack and increasing their speed. Uh, versus um, like you'd, sac you'd sacrifice the healing of Apothecary uh, for the decreasing uh, the attack of the enemies. This isn't a bad one, and she's neutral because she is a void, so she's not a bad she's not a bad epic to, to, in my opinion anyway. And then we have the final epic, which is a basilisk in the lizard man. I could have actually just read the name and figure out it wasn't the lizard man. Uh, so it's probably not not Jareg, of course not. Um, it is a, um, let's see here, it's a force, so it's this one. Basilisk, so this guy is new. It looks like all the other lizard men. Uh, attacks all enemies, places a 25% increased attack buff. On this champion, if two turns, for two turns if it's, if it's critical. Then we have attacks one enemy, places a stun debuff for one turn. At, um, okay, well it's, it's a guaranteed stun, well, if you have the accuracy for it. And it's on a three turn cooldown. It's fair, uh, revives this champion to 30% health HP, HP when killed and places a block damage buff for one turn. And you can have that at, um, essentially, you can level up a passive. You can have that at a 6 turn cooldown. He's not great, Basilisk is, is not good, good in my opinion. Then we have our first legendary, which is obviously a void legendary because the game loves voids. Uh, Hegemon, which is under uh, <laughs> Knight's Revenant. It's probably this one, yeah, I don't recognize him. Uh, so let's see here. People have reviewed him. Ah, straight up four. Okay, so that means four people have gotten him. Okay, so what is good with you? This is like important, you know. Uh, so we have a 50% chance. Okay. Attacks two times at random. This is against one enemy. Has a 35% chance, which would be a 50% chance of placing a decreased speed debuff uh, for two turns. That's horrible. Well, it's not on a cooldown, so it's fine, I suppose. It's fine. And here we have a uh, four turn, but you can't make it a lower cooldown. Places a 50% decreased attack debuff for two turns at, against all enemies. Attacks all enemies. 
places a 50% attack debuff for two turns. Also, that's a, that's like a guaranteed chance of decreasing attack. And then you have a 50% chance of placing a block cooldown skills. Block cooldown skills would be like putting all the enemy skills on cooldowns. So this could actually be very good, especially he. this guy could replace Gorgrab, you know, like he could. But it's not, uh, it's not too great. Let's see here. Uh, all this goes first each round. Uh, we'll fold it by next. Okay. That's interesting. I've not seen that. All this goes first each round. Yeah, this could be like, um, this could be uh, a replacement for Gorgrab. Holy moly. Actually, no, he could, he could, uh, he could either remove Tomb Lord or Gorgorab. Either or. I think maybe just Tomb Lord, actually. <sighs> Not bad. And then he does um, increase his ally crit rate in battles by 19%. Not bad. Not great. But not bad. Oh, especially the always goes first kind of saves him. Otherwise, he would have been a very bad hero. Then we have someone under Undead Heroes. Which is here. Undead Hordes, my bad. First Undead Hordes hero. King Ral, which is a legendary magical hero. Uh, which is here. Crypt King. Crypt King Gral. Are you good? He looks like he could be good, you know? Like he has got. He's quite common. People have rated him alright in game at least. Um, attacks one enemy. This is no, you can't increase anything. Uh, has a 60% chance of placing a decreased attack debuff for two turns. Uh, that isn't too bad, honestly. It's not on cooldown, so it's fine. Uh, wish it would be all enemies and it would be OP attack. Attacks three times at random. <laughs> has, a, has essentially a 75% chance of placing HP burn. Cooldown for three turns. This could be useful for clan boss or whatever. Then. And let's see this attack right here. Four turn cooldown. Places a free debuff on each target for one turn. If they're under HP burn debuff. That sucks because his HP burn doesn't attack all enemies. Um, extends the duration of any uh, HP burn debuffs for, t for two tur three turns. This effect cannot be resisted. Okay, well. it's This guy could be good uh, against clan boss. In my opinion, maybe he's good against clan boss, uh, but he's not good in PvP. And then we have, yeah, that that was it, you know, like that was all of them. I don't, I don't have any more pictures, uh, which means I've covered literally all of the heroes. Well, I would like to thank everyone for watching. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.